Welcome back, everybody. I am C Money. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player, and today we're playing Progressive World Domination on the Conquest of Stockholm map. We're playing as the green player out of the sixth position, and we start with 11 territories. Red starts with 11 as well. So everybody has 11. He's only getting three troops to start. Uh, not a bad spot to be in. Um... We're going to have to take multiple multiple positions here. We are playing with blizzards on, we're playing with fog on, and we're playing with unstable portals on. Red dumps all of his material in the middle of the board. We have a four up here that could, could be useful. Now, the benefit to this is you can actually sneak a bonus pretty effectively on this map. So, I don't think red takes a bonus, but red gets some uh, quite a bit of material into the middle. Um... As far as I can tell, no super easy bonuses besides the one that I am in. Uh, as long as yellow doesn't knock me out of here, should have a decent opportunity to play for this. I think we're going to go for a two-position game. She has space off of where all of my material is. Yellow is probably going to knock my one out of here. Yellow is going to go for that bonus at the top in Nora Saltion's Strand. I wish we do have vision on that final territory there. I wonder if they get broken. Um, they very well might. I could take Trey Cronor here. I think I'm just going to go into my uh, Helgen's Holman. Uh, forgive me if you are Swedish for my Swedish pronunciations here, but uh, I've seen this map play before. I don't like that. That's a little bit annoying. Um, I'm going to go yoink that out of there. I've seen this map play before, and I can assure you that it plays out... Uh, is that going to hit a four on two? It fails it. Okay, so I don't really retain that material, but he loses a four. So white has already greatly inconvenienced himself. I think he was playing for this bonus in here. Needed more troops there. Risky play. Dropped all three of his troops that he started with down in there. Does get a roll down here, but white's off to a tough start. Yellow holding a bonus. I wonder if purple... I might actually lose this position. We might have to play a one-position game with all the bonuses that everybody's going for. We can create additional positions. Oh, boy. Purple's in here. Um, that might become pointed at me. i got to be careful with the amount of material I put in here. Uh, but my my green, uh, green little stack here is going to get kind of sectioned away. I, w I would like to sit on this position here, on Red Bridge, if possible. But I'm going to start with six troops. So I think if I go, I have this four here, I can get into this bonus with that. Um, I'm going to need to put about four of those six troops up here. I'm going to probably triple attack on this turn. I want to get down onto this one here, uh, away from white, since white tried to knock me out of this area. And I'd like to take this bonus. I don't think anybody will have hit yellow. Maybe red will hit yellow. It's very possible that yellow ends up holding that bonus. Could hit yellow, but I don't think it's smart for me to do that. Uh, we're playing these settings. I decided to choose this map in these settings because, quite frankly, it's just stuff I haven't really played before. Uh, and I figured I'd give it a shot. I was originally going to try to do true random with these settings just for some fancy, uh, fancy schmancy. Um, not a great roll there. And then we're going to roll over here. We find a little bit of blue there. Uh, we'll sit on the portal with that. Five. Let me see a yellow two here. So obviously the portal's opening gives me vision. We got a little bit of red down here. I'm going to zoom out. I can zoom out. All right, I can see the whole map here. This helps quite a bit. Um, we're holding this bonus for now. I'm not going to count my blessings. I'm more going to try to play to stay alive because I lost quite a bit of territory to start. I do have this three up here still, but it looks like purple's probably going to play for that bonus at the top of the board, plus five. Um, but you can see our settings here. Uh... I've got the unstable portals at the bottom, inactivity behavior. If I move this way, you should be... Able, yeah, there you go. You can see everything. Uh, world domination on Conquest of Stockholm. Auto setup, 60 second turn timer, expert level AI, balanced uh, blitz dice, progressive cards, no rank restrictions. Um, alliances are off, fog blizzards, and uh, portals all on for this one. And nobody broke yellow. Uh, yellow doesn't appear to be lining on me, though, which is very, very good. He might take this bonus here. He's going to try to roll a two-on-one and protect his bonus, maybe. Uh, he took a card, but uh, oh, I think that was that was fortifying away. It looks like yeah. So he uh, he doesn't break me. It's going to come down to whether or not purple breaks me, but I'm hoping purple just goes for his stuff at the top here, and I, I manage to hold. Uh, it does look like blue might have the bottom of the board already. 
given the quantity of material down there. Hopefully he doesn't hit my three out of here, but you never know what these players are going to do. Does purple... Purple does not place up at the top here. He doesn't have a bonus either. Uh, I could... I could whack this five on this next turn, really irritate this player and bad neighbor him. Um... I'm going to get three troops. Blue... Yeah, blue has this bonus at the bottom. That's not good for my three here. So I think I fortify that away. I don't know if I want to bad neighbor purple. I don't know that bad neighboring him yet is the right idea. I think I take this bonus in here and hope for the best. But I'm not going to be able to get my three out of there, so I might as well force him to hit it. Um... It's here. Is he going to split this and try to hit over here? Doesn't look like it. He does come down this way and hit red. Interesting. Uh, I'll fortify this three up. I don't, yeah, so I, I don't think I hit purple here. I'm just going to take here. I'm going to put two troops here to fortify that three up and then the rest on this stack here. So, take there, and then fortify this away, so that we maintain that position. Uh, and then I can move my 8 on a future turn. So I'm holding two bonuses right now. There's a very good possibility that yellow or red breaks me here. Red might just play for this bonus. No, he goes to the right. Interesting. Alright, the players in our game, by the way... Yep, Yellow's still getting his eight troops. I hope he doesn't think that three is meant to be pointed at him. It just merely was because I didn't fortify it. Uh, he'll run into an eight, though. I'll throw him a yeah. thumbs up. I mean, maybe he rolls a seven on three, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure what kind of neighbor we've got in Yellow. Yellow has held this bonus from the start. Hopefully we hold our bonus from the start. Imagine purple wax my material out of here. So the players in our game, the red player, General Barad from Mexico is in the first position. We've got the yellow player, General McPunch from China in the second position. The white player, Cannon Boy from Macedonia, North Macedonia, is in the third position. The purple player, Nicholas Bravebeard from the United States in the fourth. Uh, Tozi, 13, from Thailand, is in the fifth position. And finally, I am Seamony Grandmaster level player from the United States in the sixth position. White will take their bonus in here. I gotta be a little bit concerned about uh, about purple. He could double break me if he wanted to. I think it's pretty much a guarantee he'll hit my three and maybe even the one on this next turn. Uh, that, interesting. That's not, he's slow playing this. I don't know that we let him do that. He's gonna be my neighbor. I'm going to get a bunch of troops on this next turn. I could honestly just completely blast him out of here. Um, I know it's kind of mean. But he's taking so long to take the bonus that I don't know that I give him the benefit of the doubt here. Nobody's going to see those hits either. And he can knock my four out of here, but I've got decent positioning. Maybe he'll have a set on three, but a set on three is not going to get him very far. And I will get, what, I'm holding two plus threes. I'll get uh, nine troops on this next turn. I go 12 on seven. Um, I don't know. Like 10 territories, two. Yeah, I'll get nine troops. How much is 12 on seven? 100%. And then I rotate there to, so he can't knock me out of here. He could break me up here. He could get both of these bonuses, but unfortunate roll. I was really hoping for a better roll. I didn't want this player behind me. I was just getting worried about it. Um, uh, red trades in early. That's not great. Yellow's holding two bonuses right now. Unlucky roll. Losing nine troops on that was not good. Yeah, yellow's getting 15. Purple botted. Okay, I was hoping purple would bot. That'll break. That'll probably break both my bonuses, actually. Um, I 
I, like I wasn't necessarily trying to force a player to bot, but it does have its effects. Yeah, yellow's getting very strong. Hopefully yellow goes for someone else. The 10 lined on me is not ideal. Um, feel a little bit bad for purple. I thought I would get a better roll there, and then I could potentially wipe him out of here. He's going to hit the... Oh, he hit whatever here was in here in this corner. And then just fortifies back to protect. Or is he going to split? He splits. I wonder if he splits this 10 down this way. White's going to get a bonus on this next turn. Hopefully it doesn't hit my 4. Because blue's going to get a double bonus as well. Blue is holding... You can see all the bonus here. Blue's holding this plus 4 and the plus 5 in the bottom. Yellow is holding this plus 6. Uh, the black plus 6 here. And the orange plus 5. I'm holding these two plus 3s. And unfortunately, this purple bot's likely going to place on me. Does he break yellow? That is bold. That is a that is a mistake. That is a mistake from the yellow player from the white player. That is going to get him absolutely whacked on this next turn. Purple trades in six troops down here. The rest over here that might roll a five on four, but if that three doesn't roll out, hits red. That three could still hit. It does it is going to hit me? But it's not going to it's not going to have enough juice to get this bonus. Fortunately. And it breaks yellow. Okay, so the bot does set on three. Breaks yellow. Appears not to break blue, though. Yeah, it does not break blue. Um, so blue has a choice to make here. He's sitting on four portals right now. Uh, red, I think, is pretty weak in the middle of the board. White does not get broken by the bot. Blue places quite a few troops here. He could come up and break me off of this five. Well defended plays by Blue here. I respect the way that they're playing this. Um, but they do seem to be centralized to one position. My spot over here is not a bad spot to be as long as I don't get rolled. He's going to come up and hit here. I would think. Yep. I would prefer if he just... He should fortify that material away. It doesn't appear that he's going to do that. He thought about coming to hit me there. Um, I'm going to... I don't want to leave that up there, but... Back that up and sit it on the portal and leave the four up here. I'll let blue stay in there for now. I'm hoping he doesn't try to come back to or break me in a minute. So, uh, red hits purple in here. I think red's trying to hold this split bonus here in the middle of the board. That plus six, the, the kind of periwinkle plus six. Blue's got a lot of board in the bottom of the map. Yellow is double broken, so no extra troops for them. Uh, they got to kind of decide, are they going to hit white or are they going to hit the bot um yeah blue thought about coming to break me blue, blue's slow with their decision making at least yellow hits the bot is he just gonna take back here because he also has to defend against the bot up here is he not even going to take this territory back from white i feel like he should point this 10 elsewhere a red might be holding quite a bit on him he does hit white here and he's not going to retaliate, so white might come back and hit him. I think white might smoke my four on this next turn, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, white could even consider placing up on this one here. I'm not super strong. I, oh, no, white is going to go back in and break yellow again. I'm surprised yellow wouldn't retaliate more. Maybe because the bot broke him, and the bot very well could break him again with this five. So so white is a very... Uh, th this one here is dangerous. This This nine might break blue on this turn. No, it breaks red! Why does it have such a... Uh, oh, and that's going to break yellow up there? What is... the? I don't know why this isn't hitting blue. Blue's holding this bonus too. Maybe it targets the player with the stronger bonus. I haven't caused any problems for blue. I even backed away from him, so hopefully he doesn't place troops on this four up here. That does worry me a little bit. Um... 
Like, I don't particularly want it there. He does set in here. He's got decent lines on me right now. I gotta be careful. Hopefully he's looking at maybe this island down here. Haven't defended against this territory here. I don't really want to set in, but I, I think somebody's got to hit blue. Blue's early set in isn't even that bad of a play. He's just going to place a six up here. Maybe just, just attack up there, roam around now that he's got that position. I need to try to hide a position from him. I don't like... He's kind of just taken this to have it. I backed up. Hello, sir. Thanks. I'm going to place a couple extra troops over here. Um, two here, and then... I don't want to hit purple up there, because this four... He might not account for that. Um, I think I will live. I don't want to set in here. Uh, play from both of these portal spots with quite quite strong uh, positions. He does have a 10 down there on that portal. That's not good for me. That's really pretty bad for me. If blue tries to go for a kill on me on this next turn, the benefit is he's, if he does try to go for a kill on this next turn, he's not going to have a set to be able to do it. So yellow's sitting on a portal. He can see my two strong portal positions. He might go into white here. No, he's going to go into me, isn't he? Nope, he went into red. Interesting. Does he feel like he has a potential kill on red? I don't know if red's been cleared out of the bottom of the board. This could be a risky play. Maybe his idea was kill red, set, kill white. That would give me the 20 trade. He has failed the kill on red. The bot might kill red. So if these players aren't paying enough attention here, there might be kills on yellow and on red on this next turn. Red is very weak. Yellow is now weak because he failed the kill on red. Red is botted. Yellow is not botted. White trades in. Blue is also very strong. I'm worth 36. Yellow goes for... White goes for yellow here. Uh, he might be too strong, though, for... No, he's going to sit on this portal. Everything comes back to this? Yes, everything comes back to that. Uh, we got the purple five here. There's a little bit of purple at the top. And then this purple one that blue is actually not aware of. Red gets broken. Does red die to the bot here? Not yet. It's me. Okay. Covers up a five there. So the bot, I think, is pretty weak. There's still material down here at the bottom, though. Blue might get the kill on red here and then could could run the table. Puts one troop there. That's at least a little promising. Puts two there. I imagine some ends up on this portal as well. So I don't know if red has been completely removed from the middle. Because blue doesn't have this bonus. There is other material down in this bonus. Blue has uh, this and this. Oh, wait, actually... No, 10, 14... No, 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 no. 3 plus... What is that? 9, 12, and then just total territory count? I believe blue only has... Oh, he breaks white. So I'm going to get the 15 trade here. Um, I think there's a kill on yellow. I don't... My, my issue here is if I go for a kill... Is there... Is there material down here? So, I'm going to trade in. The bot can't be that strong. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go seven troops up here. I think one of those is actually a blue territory, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself. This borders this in here. Let's go two there. We've got this over here. I'm going to go two over here. And then the rest we're going to go on this in case I don't kill purple here. A purple would set me in. There's that. I have pathing up there if I need it. Oh, 
Okay, we get the kill on red. So purple is still somewhere else. There also might be a kill on yellow here, which would set me in as well. But purple is definitely down here somewhere. Let me put all of this in the middle. Um... Okay, we gotta go get the purple kill then. Which we do get. And there's a little bit more of yellow down here. Which is good to know. Uh, that should be enough for whatever presence of yellow is down here. But we'll add a little bit more. Get nine in here. This up here. I can path that back into white if I need to. I missed white there, so... Uh, a little bit of white in there. There's the yellow kill. That'll set me in. Do I have enough to kill white here? I should. With the trade in. And then it'll just be about getting blue at the tail end of this. The blue has all of this down here. So I just got to come through and sweep this in here. Yep. Oh boy, this is, this worked perfectly. Uh, let me clear him out up top. I'm not gonna be able to kill him on this turn. Um. Even if he's got a set. Even if he has a set, he's not going to be able to run the entire board here. I'm, I have too much board. Yeah. He's not going to be able to do enough here. He bought it out. He, he left and then bought it out. Can't finish it all in one turn, unfortunately, everybody. But... Uh, I'm, I'm happy with the awareness of positions there. I'm surprised purple didn't get removed down here, but red was nearly, uh, nearly killed. And that's why seeing through the fog, everybody, seeing through the fog, using the portals to your advantage, super important in games like this. Um, because blue, blue didn't have enough, I don't know if blue had enough vision through the fog to see everything that was happening, or at least enough, uh, I don't know if enough attention was paid, so to speak. So, um, Get this down here, and then this should be able to clean up everything up here. And that should be the game. Let's clean it up. Get her done. And uh, finish off the blue player. And blue played a, a good game. And, and definitely deserves the second place finish here. Um, I'll take it. Not bad. Solid run. I actually think this game encompasses quite a bit of, uh, of concepts within Risk. Bonuses card trade-ins, chaining kills, fog, blizzards, portals, etc. And a uh, topical thing is expect a video tomorrow or at least sometime soon. Uh, it's going to be a five-minute breakdown video for people who are uh, maybe a little bit uh, inexperienced or uh, or new to the game of Risk and just want to know a bit about the basic concepts and settings that exist within Risk. That's going to come out hopefully tomorrow. It might take me a couple more days to uh, to finish up and, and work on, but uh, I've been writing a script for that and, uh, and recording it. So be on the lookout for that. Let's take a look at the ranks of the players in the game. Uh, expert on white which was interesting given that he was poking the bear that was the yellow player early on in the game. Novice on yellow and purple and then beginner on blue and red. Kind of glad that I uh, hit the purple player when I did because I had a feeling they were going to be a problem behind me otherwise. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. And also go follow me on Twitch. I've been streaming quite a bit lately. Uh, not this game, but uh, several, several other games that you've seen lately. So feel free to go uh, find me over there as well. Uh, as always, everybody, 
I have been Steam Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. I forgot to mention that if you uh, want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you, right here above my head, the subscribe button in the upper right-hand corner. As always, peace.